We know that actor Blossom Chukujeku has taken a new wife. But even after he, has, he took a new wife, the uh, reason for the divorce between him and his first wife, Red Vigo, has been actually kind of vague. And even though Red Vigo has been talking about little by little what happened, Blossom has actually been a little bit quiet since it happened. And you guys recall that Red Vigo said she found out about her divorce from her father. So actually, Red Vigo put out a post on her Instagram story and asked people to ask her questions. And people came up, you know, Instagram people, they don't rest so they came out and they asked her questions like you know why does she, does she still love blossom you know why did they divorce they asked her um was she served divorce papers and just a lot of questions and every got took to her instagram story to reply these questions the first question was why did you agree to divorcing blossom and she replied that he didn't agree when she wanted to divorce so she agreed when he wanted to but well, that means she agreed okay another person asked her what really made you and your ex-husband separate and she said this it hmm my people somebody else asked her why didn't you sign the divorce papers weren't you served and she said she wasn't served any divorce papers and this one got people talking a lot like hmm does it mean he's still married to her you know and somebody else said, why didn't you do your divorce? Because the last time we asked, you said we we're not done. And she said, last I checked, I signed no divorce papers. Now, guys, that was the one that got the whole of social media talking. Because people are now asking, if she's not actually divorced um, with Blossom, if they've not gone through a divorce, how come he's able to get married to a new wife? And people were talking, saying different things in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Because I feel like they got married in the church and also traditionally. And if I know this right, it'd be like say for nigeria like there's some churches actually that don't um um, their marriage is not recognized under the law so yes if you're getting married you can check that out some churches i know like catholic anglican methodist those churches are recognized under the law some churches will ask you to go to the court and also go and get court papers to sign so please if you're a lawyer also in the comment section i know that also if you have a customary marriage like traditional marriage bride price can be returned to show that the marriage has ended like that a divorce um, process has been complete so i don't know if the bride price of um that blossom paid on red vigor's head was returned but this one she's saying that last she checked she did not sign a divorce paper i'm asking if in this case the bride price was not returned does it mean that maybe it's only the church that actually ended their marriage or maybe the because she did not say that the bride price was returned so if it was not returned in this case that means he's still married to red vigor and married to new pastor hmm. i hope that he returned the bride price because that's what shows in um you know customary marriages that the marriage has ended guys this is what happened on her social media and people are actually um, accusing her and saying that she's the one asking herself those questions and i'm actually even worried if you think she's the one asking herself those questions is it that it's possible that that's, she's trying to get people to know some things that people don't know considering that throughout this whole divorce or separation people have actually been um talking about her and saying that or insinuating that she's the reason the marriage ended maybe because of the way that she dresses and all that so guys let me know your thoughts are in the comment section do you think it's possible that there are divorce papers to be signed and they were not signed you know or do you think that i don't think they had a court marriage i didn't see any pictures of court marriages i just know that they had a church wedding and also a traditional marriage so do you think that there's any provision for divorce papers to be signed if there was no court marriage share your thoughts with me in the comment section let me know what you guys think about this whole situation let me know what you guys think about this marriage she says she has not signed any divorce papers and the way she's sounding about it does it mean that she's trying to insinuate that maybe their divorce has not been finalized and also she insinuated that her marriage ended or their marriage ended due to deceit so who deceived who now blossom nine deceived red i mean i read nine deceived blossom but it's sounding like <laughs> since she's the one saying deceit maybe it was like two of them deceived each other and i've always said about this their whole marriage that i feel like they were just not right for each other they seemed like two people who shouldn't have been married to each other because they looked like they had two opposite personalities but we've seen people who actually have opposite personalities and their marriages have worked guys this one is just it's just an unending story even though obviously blossom has moved on i feel like red vigor has so much to say about this and i just hope that she finds peace i hope that he finds he obviously has found peace so i just hope that she finds peace and you know moves on i mean like really really on from this because obviously yoga has moved you guys is the real show thank you so much for watching let me know what you think 
in the comment section guys if you like this video like it like it like it or yeah, subscribe subscribe to the channel that i see all i see all you guys do for me thank you for liking for watching for subscribing ah not too much i see you guys thank you so much oh yeah if you never subscribe hit it subscribe subscribe eh see you guys in my next video guys bye